Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this um, series of lost items from Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Basford. Today we have a pineapple. Now I've coloured a pineapple quite a few times on video but I didn't want to not do it just because I've done one before as it's you know obviously part of the page. So I'm just going to start with the greenery. Um, I'm going to use number five. Um, this is the Settler Design Journey pencils and uh, just do a layer of this green across each of these um, they're sort of spines aren't they on a pineapple and then um, I'll, uh, I'll add in a little bit of other colours to, to sort of show where it's going to be darker I, uh, I'm trying to think about my other pineapple videos there's one um, I'm pretty sure there's one on the fruit and veg page from Worlds of Wonder which is a bit more sort of realistic looking shall we say not completely but you know and then I think I did one from Magical Jungle I think there was a spread with a pineapple in and it was just a little video and I'm pretty sure that one um, was uh, had sort of gold pen and things like that so it's a bit more fun this is number 19. I'm trying to, I'm actually looking at the colour names for you. Um, just looking this one up. It is, um, I think I've got the wrong list. I've got several lists here in front of me. 19, why can't I find it? Oh yeah, dark ochre. Sorry, and I'm going to use this for this sort of shadowy bits in here. So I'm just going to put you see the movement I'm using? I'm lifting my pencil off the paper. And as I lift, it gives a lighter stroke. So it means that the, where I start is darker, which is in the sort of depths of the plant, where it would be very shadowy. I realise they're not this brown, the um, spines, but my darkest green is a little bit blue. So uh, I thought this would be better. I'm going to go back over this with the other green anyway in a bit. It's quite noisy outside today, I can hear. My neighbour's doing some work in his garden. I don't know whether he started already. And the house over the back are having some work done. They're having some solar panels fitted and some other work done as well. I'm going back to the five. I didn't tell you the name of this one. This is just green. It's just called green. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of noise going on. You see, now I put the green back on top. It sort of hides that. It doesn't look quite so brown, but it um, looks helps it to look darker, which is what I wanted. You can do these much more quickly. If you're in a rush, they're quite good. You can just, you know, layer a bit of green down and off you go, you're done. You know, you don't have to spend so much time, which is where pages like this can be fun. Although I know some people prefer something you can get your teeth into because obviously it's quite bitty. So this doesn't relate to this next one or anything. So, you know, it can feel a little bit... You can get a bit lost, I think. You know, it's all a matter of... Uh, personal taste <coughs> excuse me number 56 I'm going to do the tips I want them to look a little bit brighter and more yellowy but without using an actual yellow this is the sort of yellowy green it's called um light olive it's a favorite of mine actually I was hoping that I could get these open stock because this is the one that I use up, up. but unfortunately Stedler are not going to be selling them open stock which is rather putting me off them sadly but they are nice pencils someone left a comment on one of my videos about them um, about the different types of Stedlers and um, how good they were and they are very good they're very strong pencils but they also blend nicely which is good for it. Um, and I've been using them for a long time. I'm trying to think about how to do the um, the main part. Where to start, really? I think I'm going to start with a really light yellow. 
number one. This is the yellow. Um, now with yellow, it can be very tempting to press quite hard because it doesn't show up very much. But if you press hard, you push down all the paper um, and it burnishes it down into the paper and then you can't get any other colour on top. Now I don't want my pineapple looking like this. <laughs> Uh, this is just my base, so I certainly don't want to uh, press too hard. It's nice and gentle just to get a light colour on. It just gets me thinking. Now I'm thinking in between each of these little segments, I want a greenish colour. So I'm going to use this one. This is the 57, it's the olive green. It's a little bit darker than the one we used on the tips. It's similar. I want it very sharp. And I'm going to sort of go around the edge of each of these in it. So sort of almost on top of the lines there that Johanna's drawn. It probably doesn't come natural to sort of colour on top of the lines, although some people do. Um, colour Bright Bex does her... I haven't seen any of her work or videos lately, but obviously what she's done in the past is still available to look at. And she... Um, has a really interesting technique where she uses a gel pen or a fi um, fine liner sorry, to go over the top of the black lines. So rather than trying to hide them with a white, which some people do, she would maybe go over this with a green or a brown or go around these with the green and uh, just to slightly change the colour. And you wouldn't think that it would necessarily make that much difference because it's black and going over the top of black but actually it's amazing how beautifully vibrant her work looks so it's worth having a look at hers if you um if you're interested she's on instagram um that for me that has made a massive difference but i don't even know if you can really see it now i'm thinking with our um with with a pineapple you get a sort of brown bit at the bottom of each of these segments and I can see we've got this little bit there and I'm thinking I'm going to use this brown this is number 76 which is the Van Dyke brown it isn't really the brown that I want but it's the only one I have and I'm just going to put a light amount sort of on the bottom going up into this little V okay now I'm thinking of really with a pineapple it's a sort of beigey colour but we don't have that colour in this set so I'm just excuse me doing a light improvisation <laughs> with this brown instead just to try and make it look a bit more like a pineapple of course this isn't the only pineapple in this book if you're a pineapple fan there's the one the pineapple house picture further back um, I wonder how many of you have done that one. I've seen so many um, Spongebob Squarepants imitations. I'm assuming that might be where Johanna got the idea from. But uh, I think they're such fun. Now we have our little label. And I'm just thinking about, you know how I've sort of done each one? If you've been watching this series, taken a colour from within the picture, but one that isn't necessarily a key colour and used it for the label. I'm thinking maybe the yellow for this one. I don't know. Um, but a much more um, intense compared to here where I kept it really light. Um, I'm quite happy with how the pineapple looks. I'm not going to... I could have put another um, layer of yellow on and made it really intense like this. But I'm actually liking as it is. So I'm leaving that and I'm just going to do this. It's my final bit. Have you ever lost a pineapple? I've lost marbles. But never a pineapple. <laughs> so that's quite an intense colour. I don't. That's that's me. That that's it. I've uh, yeah. We're going to keep that one really short. But uh, lots of fun. I've enjoyed it. I've got to decide what colour to do our little spotty pig. Um, have fun with that one next. But for today, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a really really lovely day and happy colouring.